So today I am going to show you how to check the error of HTML page as well as CSS. I mean, uh, maybe sometime you will create some problem or somehow unconsciously there will be some problem like maybe you forget to close this one or maybe you didn't close a deep tag like that okay or sometime maybe there is uh, no gap between one <coughs> attribute to another okay so that type of issue may be happen so it's actually very difficult to find that error line by line there is a way using firefox you can do that how so let me show you so i'm just opening this one in web browser uh, this is with google chrome so i'm going to open the same file with firefox okay now if i fresh control u why control u it's actually show us source code okay so here you see this is in a red color yes so there may be a problem so we got the line now we can manually find that what could be the problem so form action this is the attribute this is another attribute but there should be a gap yes sir yes. this is the issue another red thing is that that we didn't finish that closing angle bracket for that one and another issue because of this one again this one red yes so from this we can find the line number and we can easily fix those issue now there is another way and that is from online how we can do that okay so if you have internet connection you may search on html validator html validator okay so our target is to validate our markup it's actually sometimes clients requirement that client will ask you to provide w3c validate markup okay so what i will do right now is that i will click on that the w3c markup validation service so wait for a while let it come and then there is three option either you can give a address or you may be upload a file so in my case right now i'm going to show you by uploading a file okay so i'm just clicking here and then i'm clicking on that browse and then i will search for that particular file where it is probably yes here and day 24 and this is file yes so i'm just opening this one and then i will click on that check now wait for a while wait for a while okay there is error in line number 36 what is that there is no gap there is a small yellow mark yes so i can easily now fix from that line number 36 okay this should be like this okay next issue line number 42 they're saying that form tag there should be that closing angle bracket missing this one yes okay so let me fix that also okay and then i'm sorry not there here this is actually because of that issue now maybe all those issues fixed i'm not sure yet so what we can do again go back and we already saved all that uh, two issue fixed and we saved yes now what we will do again we will browse that same file and then check again is there any other problem and it says int form tag is there but opening they didn't find and then unclosed element div in line number 36 so maybe then let me check what happened actually the thing is that that form tag is open now we have opened this div tag yes now since this div tag is a children of form tag so there should be a closing div tag yes that is also missing so sometimes you will not get the exact error but you will get some assumption okay so we have to find out that maybe because of that those issue is happening quite fine so let me set that closing div now save and again back again upload that same file open 
and check. Wait for a while. Oh, document checking complete. No error or warning to show. Done? Now, if you want to check CSS, there is also a way. What you can do? Search on Google that CSS VALIDATOR. Okay? And again, the W3C CSS validation service. Go there. Wait for a while. Same like HTML, we can upload our CSS file. So browse. And then where is our CSS file? So maybe in backup. And no, I'm sorry, not there. Could be somewhere here. Yes, so 24 here. And inside this CSS folder, I have my CSS file. Yes, so let me open this one and then check. Let us see what happened. Congratulations, no error found. But what if I create some problem there? Like, uh, let me open that CSS file and then maybe I did these things. I didn't open that second bracket. Sometimes it happened, yes? So most cases, what you have done is that you forget to close second bracket. So, okay. Now, again, back browse css file check one error and where here it is sir. line number 30 fresh error okay so line number 13 yes yes so we are not getting exact line but maybe before or somewhere inside there is a problem and the problem is we forget to close the second bracket of our previous selector. So if I close that one and if I try again, I will see everything quite fine. So let me do that. Check. Yes, 